Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Flamecraft, which is for one to five players. It takes about 60 minutes and it's for ages 10 and up. Now keep in mind that we are playing with the Kickstarter edition, so the components have been upgraded, oh. but the gameplay is the same. So this is a race game of sorts to try to score the most points before the last card of the enchantment deck is drawn or the last card of the artisan dragon deck is drawn. And what we're doing is that we're going to be using our dragons to visit different shops. Um, right now this is before it's set up. We're visiting different shops to get reputation. So we're going to start out here on zero and it says to shake up the reputation marks markers. So I will go first and I'll use this first player token to remind me that I'm first. Now the enchantment deck, this is what you'll use. You'll be collecting six different resources and gold here, which is placed in the fountain is a wild. So these are not resources or goods, I should say, seven, uh, six different goods and gold can be used as any good you want. And this is one way to get points. For instance, this says right here that if you have an equal number of iron and leaves, so if I had three of each, I can get four reputation. If I had four of each, I can get eight reputation, but only one of each would be worth zero. And you'd be like, well, why would I want to even use it if it's only worth zero? You just may want to end the game sooner. <laughs> or you have fancy dragons, which I'll explain in a minute, where collecting these cards gets you more points. Uh, that's the same kind of card. Okay, this one here is two bread and three iron. You get four reputation. You get to get an artisan dragon in the park. I just want to show you some of the different ones here. This is worth six. Now that is a six there. It can, the font can be a little confusing sometimes from a distance. That's one iron, two potions, and three leaves. And there's a whole bunch of these of different types. One thing to keep in mind is in order to use an enchantment, you have to visit the, the bread shop or you have to visit the meat shop. So I wanted to go over one of the main ways you get points. There are other ways you get points when you visit certain shops. So you shuffle these up and you place them right here. Five start up. Only at the end of your turn do you replace it. Next thing to get ready is the fancy dragons. Now fancy dragons are dragons that you will score either at the end of the game, which is called a moon dragon. So you get one reputation for each starter shop with matching starter dragon icon. I'll explain that in a minute when I set it up. This is also a moon dragon. It's only scored at the end of the game. Gain one reputation for every two bread dragons in town, plus three reputation if they are the most of that type of artisan dragon. There's an artisan dragon for every type of good. So there's potions, leaves, bread, meat, iron, and diamonds. Now let me show you a day dragon. Is it, or is it, is it a sunset dragon or a day sun. dragon? Is it a sun dragon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sun dragon. Thank you. You're welcome. So this can be scored as soon as you finish it, but it will not, this, you won't score it at the end of the game. You've got to do it before the game ends. So you gain five reputation if your total coins matches open coin slots. Well, that's one we haven't had before. So you'll see here on some of the shops that this is an open coin slot, open coin. So if you have enough coins that match those, so there's four open right now. If you have four coins, you'd be able to turn that in for points. So part of the setup is that we get two of these, we get to pick one. And Julie will do that as I'm setting up the rest of the game. So she's going to look at her two. I'll look at my two later. These are our dragons that we're going to move around to different shops. We're just going to put them here right now. As I said, the coins start here. Now, these are artisan dragons. In a two-player game, you don't start with all of them. And there's, like I said, there's one for each type. And when you visit a shop, you can, what's called, fire them up. So, for instance, if you fire up an iron dragon, you gain two of one good from the shop or from an artisan dragon that's there. Which means if there's a leaf dragon there, you can get two leaves. Or you can just use this guy, this guy and get two iron. And then the shop will have an icon in its right-hand corner. So if this iron dragon was here, you can get two leaves. Or you can get two iron. Or if there was different dragons there, you can get two meat. So there are different, uh, different abilities here, which I'll show you on the starter dragons. Each one of these is going to go with their shop. 
So I already went over the iron one. This one here, the Leaf Dragon. You fire them up. You can gift a good to another player to gain two reputation. So this is where there's some positive interaction. You can, uh, notice it says good. This doesn't mean coins. Coins aren't goods. Keep that in mind. Here you can draw an artisan dragon from the park. I'll show that in a moment. Here is you gain three different goods of the six that are available. Notice there's also a symbol here. That's also the good you'll get when you visit that shop if you do a gathering goods action. Here you can place an artisan dragon in town from your hand. And then here is swap with a dragon in town and fire it up. So this is where you can swap artisan dragons from one shop to another and then you fire them up. So why do I have all these here? Because in a, I'll show you on the chart here, in a two player game you must remove 12 dragons, two of each good type. In a three player game you remove six dragons, one of each good type. In a four player game you play with them all. So I already have two of each type here off to the side that we're going to remove. I just wanted to show you that as part of the setup. Now, I shuffle up the Artisan Dragons. We're going to get for each the start, in addition to our two Fancy Dragons. Remember, we're only keeping one of those cards. Did you figure out mm -hmm. which one you're going to keep? I put mine right over here. Okay. Yep. Which, and then the one that you don't keep I put underneath. goes underneath. Mm -hmm. Can you get that out so I can show them what oh, you got ready? Right? One, two, three, four. Well, actually, one, two, three, four. This is part of our hand. I think you can only have Sorry. seven at the most. I have to look that up again. Go cool. here is the one that Julie got rid of. It was a sun dragon. Gain three reputation for every shop you filled this turn. So that means if you there's a spot for every shop you can fill up the three dragons there. So if you fill up at least one shop, you can turn it in for three reputation. But Julie got rid of that one. Well, Julie will show me the one that she kept later. Oh. Okay. okay. So here's a four that Julie starts with. Let's put now this is hidden information. So Julie has a iron, a diamond, a potion, and a meat dragon. Mm -hmm. Now can we see that on your other camera? Uh, yes you can. Yep. Alright, there they are. And then we reveal five here in the park. I can help you. The reason why I'm facing usually they face this way, like this. But we want to make sure everything is visible on the camera for you. This is such a large board, it's hard to see everything. Mm -hmm. But I will go to this camera here. Those are the five that are available. And when you take an action to get an artist, an artisan dragon, you can either take one of the face-up ones or draw a random one. So, by the way, you notice there's a deck here that looks just like this enchantment deck. This is the more expert, expert level enchantment deck that you can play with. We haven't played with that one yet. We're not experts yet. Yeah. Well, we probably could now. We're not going to do it on camera. And then here are companions that you can play with. We haven't played with that either. This adds a, something that can help you help out your main dragon. So those are not being played with. I just wanted to show you off to the side. Okay, so we got our four artisan dragons. Mm -hmm. I have to pick. Let me show you the two that I have. Two fancy dragons. So I have two moons. Now, you know, Julie's not supposed to know this, but we're going to play open-handed. So two reputation if you have three bread. And then plus three if you have the most bread. So at the end of the game, and this is when we played the other night, I had seven bread. Because you can only have seven of each good. Once you get over seven, you must discard the seven. So if I have seven, well, I just have to have the most. But I had seven and Julie had two or three. So not only did I get two reputation for having... Oh, actually, I had seven bread, so I got... If you have three, two reputation, you have three bread or more. So yeah, I had three or more, so I got two reputation. And then because I had the most, I had more than Julie, I actually got five reputation for that card. So this is good to know, to plan out. This means that I want to have a lot of bread at the end of the game. There's the other one I can choose. And it's the same thing, except it's with meat. So I'm going to take bread, because we've been making bread lately at home. Yes. So that's my fancy dragon. Did you want to see my fancy dragon that I picked? Uh, you can show it on, on your camera. I just, I, I'd rather not know what you have. At least okay. I show the audience what I have. I don't even remember what you have. Okay. So let me flip up my four. And I'm pretty sure it's seven. 
uh, most artisan dragons you can have. And you'll see that the rule book is laid out nicely. And it will be at the end of the turn that you... Oh, in fact, it says right here on the action sheet. Max goods is type is seven. Max dragons in hand is six. Okay, so see, that's why I had to look it up. And that looks like an eight to me. Doesn't it look like an eight to you? No. Well, it's just my Well, I have my glasses on, but no, yeah. it looks like a six. Yeah, but from a distance, it can look like an eight. So you can only have seven of each good type and six dragons in hand. We start out with four. Okay, so enchantment deck, fancy dragon deck, we got two each. We got four each of that. We took out the ones out of uh, the ones that were not playing. So you play with a smaller deck here. You play with a full deck of enchantment. Now you're seeing all the shops here. Let's take a look first at the six basic shops. These are the six you always start with. See the backs? And here is the matching starting artisan dragons that will go with them. So let's take a look at what, this, what the shops mean before we place them. Because we're going to place all six. You can place up to 12, but in a higher player count game, it can go up to 14. So this means that the starting dragon is going to go here. And you saw that that one dragon can move them around. So even though you have, let's say, and they're going to match with the type. So the starting, artist, the starting uh, artisan dragon is going to start in the potion shop. But if you saw, see here with the starting potion dragon, you can swap artisan dragons in town. So even though he may start here, I can swap him out for the meat dragon, for instance. So let's take a look at what these symbols mean. So when you visit here, when you take the gather action, you'll get a potion. And then you'll get a good for every type of dragons out there. So if you go to this shop, you'll get two potions. But if there was also an iron dragon there, you get two potion and uh, an iron, okay? Which we'll show you you know, the setup here in a moment. But what are these symbols? This means that you can also add dragons to these shops. You can add a potion dragon or a diamond dragon. If you do, you get a gold. Here, if you add a diamond dragon, you get another fancy dragon, which could be a daytime or you know, a sun dragon or a, a moon dragon. Remember, sun dragons would be something you score during the game and moon dragons you score at the end of the game. So that's that shop. They're pretty much the same kind of thing. You're either going to get a gold or another fancy dragon. So let's put these out right now. Well, before I put them out, let's show you what I have here because I'm going to need space. Mm -hmm. uh, it does take a lot of space to do this. You'll see here are the other shops you can play with. There are three of every type of good. And you take one of each. So you shuffle them up. You take one potion. You take one meat. And there's no pudding with that meat. <laughs> Okay, because you, you, you can't have your pudding unless you eat your meat. Uh, and then you get one oh of that, you get one diamond. Sakes. I can't help doing that. Because I know you can't. Every time, guys. If, if, I, if, I, was, if I was designing this game, I would have pudding in there as a joke. Every time yeah, we played play. this, yeah. he does the same Some thing. Some people should know what that means. I'm sure a lot of people okay. do. Now you see I have one <laughs> random one of each type. Now you have special ones here. And what are special ones? Well, they have, different, they have different icons in the corner. So if you go here, you'll get three gold. But then you can also take the store ability, which is right here, this line of text. May flip up to three, may flip up to three gold. So you flip them. Mm -hmm. Heads oh, wow. equals two reputation. Tails, you lose a gold. So it's like gambling. You can put dragons here. So if you put a bread or a potion dragon here, you get three reputation, and you see the other things you can get. So all these are different. This is a wild. You can put any dragon you want there. Um, Getting seven of one good. Yeah. <clears throat> and there is this one right here. Gain one reputation for every dragon type in town. That matches your shop reward. So that means if you put down a bread dragon, and there's a whole bunch of bread dragons in town. Oh. But those are all special shops. You shuffle up the deck and you draw four and you add it to the six regular ones and uh. then you shuffle up that deck. <laughs> because as you fill up the basic shops, you will add these to the town. So there's, you're not going to use all 10, 
it's, it's randomized. So this will sit off to the side here. Okay. Okay, for us to fill up the town. Now I have space to fill up the town. To fill up the town. All right. And we do it in a weird way, so it's all facing us. When you're playing around the table, You'll flip it the other way. Yeah, you'll flip it the other way. <clears throat> so I'm not really following the, the board here. Normally you would have it like this. Okay, actually you would have it like no, this. you would have it like that. And this that. one would be upside down. Yeah. But we do it like this so you can see it. Now we take the, the starting artisan dragons and... It's right here. I'm just going to go in order. Oh, okay, baby. And you just match them. So that means when you go there, you're going to get two leaves, two potion, or two iron. i got to move my stuff over. I, I have a feeling I have to move my stuff over again as we add more. Mm -hmm. So as soon as this gets filled up with three, you'll take one of these, put it face down like this, and then at the end of the turn, you flip, flip, up, flip it up. Because there can be things that happen before your turn ends where you... You don't want to know what that is. Right. It could be unfair to know what town is coming, what shop's coming up. Okay. So keep in mind that there's no hand limit to the number of fancy dragons you have. There's a hand limit of six artisan dragons. And I'll be going first. So now we've done setup. We have the five enchantment cards up that you will try to get for points. We have our deck of Fancy Dragons, where we got two each, picked one and put one underneath the deck. We set up the Artisan Dragon deck and put five in the park. We put out the six basic shops and matched the starting Artisan Dragon with each shop. Now we just need to go over the action, and then we decided we picked from these tokens here to see who go the reputation tokens to see who will go first. Now let's take a look at what will you be doing. You only, it's pretty simple. You only have two actions to pick from. But it's important that you go in order. Because the order that you go in, it does matter. So you can do a gather action or a enchantment action. So you're going to take your little dragon here and go to a shop. You can go to the same shop as someone else, but you will have to gift them a good or a gold. So if Julie is here, and I really want to get potions. I go here. I'm going to have to give her any good that I have, which would be over here, or give her a gold. Now, if you're playing a multiplayer game and there's two dragons there, you're going to have to give each player something. So, again, that's another positive interaction. To really only take that in this game is maybe denying somebody uh, something that you think you're going for. Okay, so if you gather, and you just put your dragon out of shop to gather or enchant. So if you gather, you're going to gain goods at that shop, gold and any artisan dragons listed. This depends if it's a special tile. Most shops aren't, shops, beginning shops aren't gonna have gain gold or artisan dragon actions. It's gonna be all goods in the beginning of the game. Then you may place an artisan dragon out of your hand to gain a reward into the shop if it matches the icon. Then you can fire up one artisan dragon there and then you can use the shop ability, if any, and none of the basic shops have that. So if I were to go here, I get two iron. If you go in order here, I may place a dragon. Well, I could place this iron dragon here or this potion dragon. I can't place my leaf dragon. There's no spot for a leaf dragon. And this is optional. I don't have to. But if I do place this here, I get to pick a fancy dragon. Or if I put it or if I put this guy here or this guy here, I get a gold. Now, why does it matter that you go in order? Because now I get to fire up one of these dragons. I can get this ability or this ability. But notice, you get the goods first, then you place an artisan dragon. If I had placed this first, that would be unfair because I would get the potion and the two iron. That's why you, get, you collect goods first, then you place if you want. Then I can fire up one of these. So that's the gather action. And as more dragons come on here, you get more goods. Let's take a look at the enchantment action. This is how you get those enchantment cards that are worth points. So you choose an enchantment that's a card that matches the shop icon. So if I want to get a card that has an iron symbol, and I have to go to the iron shop. You pay the goods cost, gain the reward listed, 
and tuck behind the shop. You know what? We forgot to do that last night. You may mm -hmm. uh, fire any number of dragons there. So one thing we forgot to do. Yep. So if I were to go here and I pay meat and, and, and uh, bread. bread, let's say I pay two each. Mm -hmm. I go up two points. Okay. I don't have them, but let's say I paid it. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to tuck up right here. Well. And now when anybody goes there, they'll get three iron. We did not do that. We forgot to we do forgot that. We forgot to do that. See, it's a good thing we're playing it for you guys again. <laughs> yeah, it's good that I read it again. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't play a game for after a while. We still did fine. Oh, we did. But that, there you go. There's a rule for you to remember. And I think the max there is three, now that I think uh, about it. <laughs> Let me see if the, when you, uh, when That's you do funny. that. Cast an enchantment. Right here. Tuck it. Yeah, you tuck it in, but does it, what's the max? This is one additional good. Maybe there is. is I don't there? think there's a max. Hmm. Maybe there isn't. I don't remember there being a max, so maybe I'm thinking of, of a different game. Yeah, it that's the problem when you play too many games. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready to play. Uh, so I get to. Uh, I'm going first. Put your little heart back because you. Know. Yes, you're right. That way you don't get confused. So you don't start. You don't start off with any goods. No. So that was fun to read that and remember. Oh that yeah, was. you tuck stuff behind there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, I'll have to make room for that. Yep. That makes the game actually even go quicker now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at. I need bread for the end of the game. I think I'll go to the bread place. Of course you will. Yeah, but then I can't place a dragon. See, I'm looking at if I go here, I can't place a dragon here. I don't have a bread or a meat dragon. So I guess I'm going to go to the potion okay. place. When I got to look right here, you need iron. Iron, lead, so, you know, I'll go, I'm going to go here. Okay, babe. I'm going to take two iron. Oh, I already, right. I already have it up. <laughs> and we don't really need to keep track down the first player. No, no. Uh, and then I'm going to place a potion dragon. And I'm going to get a fancy dragon. Okay. And what did I get? I got a sun one. Cute. Okay. Pay five potions to gain three reputation and two coins. So any time that I have that, I can turn this in. So I have to remember to do that. I think I had that one last night. Okay. So now I get to fire up one of these. When you are doing an enchantment, you get to fire up every dragon and use them, any of them that you want. So I get the two goods from one from the shop, this icon, or from an artisan dragon here. I'm gonna get two potions. Oops, I got a little too many there. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Okay. Uh, I'm taking my cute little... Oh, just so you know, I, I, I'm interrupting you. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. So at the end of the turn, you got to make sure... I know we're not there yet, but we got to make sure that max goods of each type is seven. I only have two of each right now. And max dragon uh, dragons in hand is six. Okay. Okay. Well, now you can go. Take my little cute blue dragon. We're going to go over here to the bread area. So you're getting bread. I'm going to get two... Bread. Why don't you put them here, honey, for now? Uh huh. Okay, two bread, and then I'm going to place my meat dragon right here, so I can get a fancy dragon. Okay, so you're getting another fancy dragon. And it's a sun one. Why don't you show it on your camera? It says gain one heart for each unique good you pay. Is it a sun one? Yep. I had two sun ones. Okay, why don't you... Uh, do you really need this here? No. Okay. I only had that there for you in case you needed to see the symbols. Okay, and okay. then I'm going to... I'm going to fi uh, fire up the hot dog, and it says place one dragon in town. So I'm going to place... So she gets to place a second artisan dragon. I'm going to place this guy right here. 
And you're going to get another fancy dragon? Yeah, another fancy dragon. Yeah, you're doing what I did last night. Yep. Go ahead. And then you add another sun one. If any two shops have all six dragon types gain six hearts. And I am done, honey. Okay, filling a shop. I'll check that out when it's not my turn. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a lemon. Okay. So you went there. Now, if I were to go there, I would have to have, give you a good. Yep. Or gold, in this case. Remember, the game ends when you draw the last card from this deck or this deck. That person finishes your turn. Then everybody, including the person that drew the card, gets another turn. So if I'm going for this, you need to go where the diamonds, diamonds are. Yep. Because diamonds are forever. Yep. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. All right, I'll go here. I'll get two diamonds. And then I place a, a leaf dragon. Get another fancy dragon. I'll show Where'd it on the camera. Get? Maybe I won't have it upside down. <laughs> A nighttime one, or a moon one. Yeah, at the end of the game. Two reputation, if you have three iron for every, uh, if you have three iron, plus three if you have the most iron. Nice. So I have two of those. I want to have the most iron and bread now at the yep, end of the game if I sure can. you sure do. Now I can f fire up. Gift another player. So this is nice about the leaf one. If I gift Julie a good, I get two reputation. I will get three different goods instead. Okay. And so if I'm going for that, I need another diamond. If I go for anything else, I'll get a leaf. And a bread, I guess. So now I have enough resources to finish this in a future turn. Nice. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get two potions. Oops. And then I'm... Oh, can I say something real quick? Sure. At the end of the game, coins are worth one reputation each that you don't spend. Okay. I forgot to mention that. All right. Okay, go ahead. Then I'm going to place this guy right here. And I get a fancy dragon. And it's another sun one. Says gain one heart for each unique dragon in hand. So that's pretty cool. Hang on, let me switch cameras for okay. you. Okay. So I have a bunch of those. And then I get to fire up one of these guys. And I'm going to... So when it says swap, you can put it on anything you want, right? It doesn't have to be another potion. Okay, swap with an artisan dragon in town. So that means you would swap anywhere you want. Okay, so it doesn't have to be it. Okay. No. All right, then. What we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to swap with the meat guy. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I can swear that, that there's a rule about it. I just can't find it. <laughs> uh, okay, now if I want to enchant, I have to go here. I go here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enchant. All right. So now I pay the three. Okay. The two iron and one potion. Nice. So I've paid it. So if we look at our little cheat sheet here, a reference card. So I went to the right shop because it has a matching icon. I have to go to the leaf because the enchantment has to do with leaves. And I can fire up every dragon that's there. Well, it would be nice if there was more dragons. There's only one dragon. So this you can see how useful this can be later on in the game. So I put the resources in there. I get my six points. And I tuck this underneath here. So now this is worth... Three leaves. You get three leaves if that leaf dragon stays there. I fire up the leaf dragon, gift a good to another player to gain two reputation if I want to. You don't have to. 
Well, uh, see, I don't get to look at what's coming up next. So I'm thinking, do I need to save my potions? I bet you the next card is going to be about potions. But I'm going to gift it to you. Oh, thank you, honey. And that way I can get two more points. <laughs> and then now I fill this. Are you and ready? It was not, oh, not even close. Not even not a potion. Nope. All right, your turn. All right, sweetie pie. Uh, I'm going to come here. I get two bread and I get one meat. And then I get to pick one of these to fire, and I'm going to draw one uh, artisan. From the park, from you'd the be park. a random? Mm -hmm. And I'm going Hang to get... Hang on a second. Oh, wow, that's a storm. I thought it was your mic. There's a storm outside. I thought our mics were messing oh, up. Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad right now. <laughs> I'm going to get Cinnabon. I think that's a cute All right, one. So you're going to take one face up from the park. I did. Okay. And then I'm going to flip up a new one for David. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. I'm still on the search for that rule. <laughs> I can swear there's something about it. But it could be a false memory. It could be. False memory is actually psychology. And he reads so many it. rules that I don't blame <laughs> his little brain for getting him crazy. Now, if I were to go there, see, I, I know what I want to go for. All right, well, you tell me what you want to go for. Well, you don't tell me what you want to go for. No. You go for what you want to go for. I'll go here. Do I have the right, do I have a diamond or an iron? Maybe I don't want to go there. Because the whole idea is that you want to try to place your artisan dragons mm -hmm. to get to get things. All right, I'll go here. I get a potion. Let me just see something real quick. Okay. I was just doubting myself on something. I get a potion, a meat, and a diamond. Okay. And then I'm going to place a dragon and get that coin. Now the shop has been filled. So we take a random one and we'll put it over here. Okay. Okay. That way it's still on camera. <laughs> and then we don't get to look at it yet, though. Right. Now I get to fire up one. So let me take my goods. I'm going to fire up. The moonbeam, aren't you? I'm in trouble. I'm going to fire up. I could swap. I'm not going to swap. I'm going to get three, three different goods here. Okay. I'm going to get a bread. Actually, wait. I'm going to get a diamond. And a leaf and a bread. And I am done. Okay. Now you can see why there's a seven limit because some of these shot. Oh, wait, I gotta flip this up for oh. you. Okay, Dragon Alley. Uh, if you. At the end of the gather phase, because there's four. Four steps here. If you use this ability, leave two gold to gain rewards and visit another shop or take all gold here. So you can visit two shops in the same turn. If you place a dragon here, you get two artists and dragons. If you place a dragon here, you get a fancy dragon and two reputation. Here you get five reputation if you go there. That's a pretty cool shop. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Coming up here, getting three leaves. And then I'm going to place her, get a fancy dragon, finally a moon one. Gain one reputation for every two meat dragons in town, plus three if it's hey, the most me, dragon. Why don't you show that again, sweetie? Let me try to make it better. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to fire up, I'm going to fire up Cinnabon, and I'm going to get another, 
do I want to get? I'm going to get loaf. And I'm going to flip up a new one for David. And it's your turn, hon. Okay. You haven't done any enchantments yet, have you? I'm working on it, sweetie pie. These are getting pretty full. Yes, they are. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get two diamonds. Mm. And a leaf. You may be wondering how do you get more artists and dragons. Well, we got to... If I were to go here, I can draw an artisan dragon and then even place one. Uh, okay, so I'm not doing... I can't place anybody here yet. I only have an iron dragon. But I can get three different goods. Wait, that's me. Oh, where were you? Right here, right? Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Uh, I'll get three different goods. Took me a second. I'm like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> I'm going to get a leaf. A... A meat and a bread. Now, this is public information here, the goods. So I'm done. Okay. I'm going to zip over here. I'm going to get two iron and one potion. All right, and then I'm actually going to place this here, and I get a coin. And then I'm going to fire up somebody. I'm going to fire up my lavender, and I'm going to swap places. And now I get to use my, where is it? Here it is. I get to use my card. It says, if any two shops have all six types of dragons, gain six. Here, let me show you, please. I found the rule. It's buried. Okay, if any two shops have at... Have all six types of dragons. Gain six. Reputation. If any two shops. And I do have it. Okay, if any two shops have all six. Okay, so that means for every two, you get six. This is pretty interesting. No, it doesn't mean it. Yeah, th this has three, and that has three. They're all different. All six types means that you can't have a duplicate. This is going to be a hard one to do. Oh. Okay, but you can move things around to make this work. Well, I already moved one around, so... I'll well, I'm just letting you know that if you were able to switch this out yeah. for a bread dragon, yeah. then those two shops would have it. It's every two shops. Show me the card again, please. Sure, sweetie. So it's every two shops, which means, oh, any two, not every two. So you can get it, you can get those six points once at the end of the game. Yeah. No, but yeah. Okay, so let me show you why I had trouble finding the rule. <laughs> I knew it was there. Okay. It's right here, enchantment limit. So it was buried. And so keep in mind that we could only enchant a shop up to three times. See how you would get four diamonds there? When you move there, and that's not including the dragons that are in the shop. So, <laughs> I wasn't... What page is it on? Oh, it was on page 11. So my memory didn't fail me on that. Good job. It did fail me about tucking them in. <laughs> but once we started tucking them in, I said, oh yeah, wasn't there a limit? Okay. It's your turn now. So you haven't enchanted yet, have you? I'm working on but it. But you sweet. forgot that you just filled this in, right? Yeah. So we need to do another shop. Oh, that's right. Where do you want to go? Now, once you move your stuff on that side... Here we go right here. Let me get my coin out of the way. Let's show it on, show it on camera. So this is uh, La Pete Dragon. Place an artisan dragon in the shop to gain gold instead of reputation. Or take all artisan dragons if full. Oh, wow. So that means that if there's three artisan dragons here, you can take them all back into your hand. Mm -hmm. So you can recycle so to speak, the artisan dragons that are here. That's cool. This symbol means you can put any dragon type there, as that symbol means. All right, so we have another shop out. Yep. Okay, I'm going here. Why the hell is that bread? Excuse my language. <laughs> We're doing diamonds and leaves. It's imp and Well, that's fine. I'll go here. I'm going to enchant. 
Okay. Well, because it's red, that's why. But yeah. I'm putting four and four. Oops. And I get eight, eight points. Eight points. Very nice, sweetie. Are you waiting for some like some master plan here you're going to do? I got it under control. So what Julie's doing, just so you know, you may think Julie's behind. Look how many cards she has there. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what she's doing. Because the last game, I did that. So she's going to try that strategy. So I tuck it underneath, and I can fire up every dragon. I can draw an artisan. Where do I want to go here? Hmm. Specific types. I'm looking at where places I can place things. I would like to get a bread dragon. So I'm going to take a random one. I hope I get it. I did not. I got a diamond. No big deal. And then place a dragon in town. So it doesn't matter what it does matter what order you go in. I will go. Now this doesn't have a symbol for what dragons you can put here. Guess you can just put anything you want. So I'm going to put an iron dragon here and get five reputation. That's twenty-one. So I'm done. Oh, I have to flip up another one. It's your turn. Okay, I'm going to place a bucket of bread. And then I'm going to place a loaf. And I'm going to get four reputation. reputation. Hey, first time you got reputation. Then I'm going to fire this sweet little baby up. And, and get another artisan. And I'm going to get another artisan. Okay. And I'm going to get this leaf. Okay. So let's see what you got there on your camera. You have, do you even need this anymore? No. Okay, why don't you put your stuff up? Okay, but look, put your stuff up so we can see it. There you go. Since you're going for all those cards. Can you move aside for real quick? I was going to help you, okay? Mm-hmm. There we go. So there's all those cards that Julie's going for, but you got to remember the score of the daytime ones. I know. Is there anything else you're doing? That was it. That was it? Yep. Okay. And we have no other shops that are filled. Nope. And what could I go for? I need to get potions. Or I need to get potions because I have that daytime, that sun act, that sun mm. fancy dragon to use. I guess I'll go here. I'll get two potions. A meat and a diamond. I can't place a dragon there because it's already full. And I can get three different types here. That's probably what I'm going to do. Or I can place a dragon in town. I can only do one of these. Or I can swap. I think I'm going to place a dragon. I'll put a dragon. Reputation in a dragon, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a fancy dragon. I'm going to go here and get two reputation and a fancy dragon. Let's see what I got. It's a moon. It comes at the end of the game. Plus one reputation for each good you have, two or less of it at the end of the game. Interesting. That kind of does not help me when I'm going for having the most. Uh, bread and iron, but it can work for the other four goods. So it's interesting how these can interact. They can you can get in a situation where one doesn't help the other. All right, I'm done. Got two diamond and one potion, and then I'm gonna. I'm going to swap. Okay, that's smart. And the reason why Julie swapped is I because 
So she swapped. Oh, so you just did it right now. Yep. It's, a, it's a sun one. Okay, so she just swapped. So any two shops have all six artisan types. She'll get six reputation. These two shops have all six types. Good job. Thank you. Now, keep this, we'll keep this off to the side in case you get something later on. Okay. It allows you to... Uh, we'll just put it up here. All right. In case there's some kind of card later on that allows you to get things for past cards. And that was... You fired up a dragon, you're done, right? Uh, yep. I'm done. Okay. I need to get more potions again. I'll go here. Get two bread. A potion. And a meat. No pudding. Stop. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn this in. Oh, I can't. Okay. I can swap or place. Well, this was a this was a bad move. I can swap or place. I will swap. With this one. There's a reason why. The reason why I said it was a bad move, because these, these dragons, I don't have a dragon to place. I could have done that one, but at least I'll swap it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm coming up here. Three leaf, huh? Three yep. leaf and a bread. Three leaf and a bread. You got yeah, a lot of good that you haven't spent. Um, just worry about your little self over there. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, draw a... Uh, An artisan dragon? I'm going to get this guy. So you fired him up? Yep. But you can't place it because that, I know. that it had to have happened beforehand. I'm good. You're good, huh? Yep, I'm done. Okay, I go here. I get two potions and a diamond. And now I'm going to... Use that card. So I'm going to spend five. Pay five to gain three reputation. One, two, three. And two gold. Nice. Okay. And I can swap. And I can't do this ability because mm -hmm. I don't have it. I need to get some dragons. Yeah, you do. I'm missing out on additional actions. I'm not going to swap, so go ahead. Okay. I'm going to... Here and I'm going to enchant that guy. Okay, so you need three bread, two leaf, and you get six points. Two leaves, two, three, and three bread. Okay. Can you go up six? So you're at sixteen. Now you can fire up all dragons that are there. Okay, hold on one thing at a time. This gets tucked underneath. And I'm going to okay, one good. I'm gonna gain two. You get two meat, two potions, or two iron. I'm going to get two meat. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I flip this up, and then I'm going to go to the iron shop. Can you guess what I'm doing? I'm going to do yeah. this one. I'm going to enchant. Oh, I, yeah, I do. I do have it. Okay. That's what I was going to go do, but that's I okay. I know. I had a feeling you, you would. You beat me to it. That's all right. Okay, so that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I put this underneath here, and I can fire up every dragon that's there. So I get two of a certain type. We don't get to see this yet. I'll get uh, two bread. And then I can do this one. Gift another player. I'll gift you a potion to get two reputation. Yeah, it's for you. Thanks. Appreciate it. And then swap. I'm not swapping. Okay. So I'm done. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to zip over here. Let's see what good you have there. Yeah, I'm going to get two. Yeah, let me see your pile here. Look at that. All that stuff she I'm going to get <laughs> I'm going to get two bread. Okay. And then I'm going to place my my little meat dragon. How much do you get? Two reputation. I reputation, get two reputation and I get a dra a, an dra artisan, artisan dragon. dragon. And I'm going to get. Which one are you going to get there? I'm going to get a meat. Flip over that and then I get to fire it up. I'm going to. And you want a rock? <laughs> you everybody knows what that's I'm going to place a dragon <laughs> in town. I'm going to place it over here. And fill that up. Okay, so you can. What does it say? In anywhere in town. Yep. And you get a coin for doing that. Yep. And now we get another. So I'm gonna move my stuff over. Okay. And I'm done. I. You're done. Did mm -hmm. you fire up all the dragons? I don't get to fire all of them, do I? Oh no. No. But you do get to use the ability at the end. Uh, place a dragon in the shop to gain a coin. So I get another. I already got my coin. What are you talking about? I place this. Place this. Okay. Place a dragon in this shop to gain coin you instead get, coin. of hearts. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just wait a second, please. Or take all. So do I get the hearts and a coin? All right. I'm not too sure what that means. We gotta look that up, the Lapeet. Now there is an there is an appendix. Because you did give me two. Okay, well, you fired up the dragon. That's fine. We're talking about the right. shop ability. It's totally I, different. I get that. Okay. I understand. So where is the shop? Uh, Clarification. Because we haven't had this shop no, before. No, La Petite Dragon. I don't know if it's in here. Hmm. There's more shops here. Okay. Here it is. Let's what show is it on camera okay, here. Yeah. We haven't encountered this before. The dragon you place must match an icon on the slot you choose. It did. Okay, Julie, oh. you, that's a firing up dragon. Okay, you're, you're talking about using the shop ability. Uh. You said, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so you understand that this is a separate action, okay? Okay. Because you do have a leaf dragon left that you can place. <laughs> Okay, so it has to match, and fortunately, this is a wild symbol, so you can place your leaf dragon that you have left there, but let's find out if you want to, okay? So now you know that you can do it, but see if you want to. So you gain one coin per reputation printed on the slot instead of gaining reputation. If there are other rewards on the slot, you get them as normal. When you place a dragon on this shop by any means other than this ability, gain the printed reputation as normal. So, do you want to place it there and you would get two reputation? Uh, to gain coins instead of reputation. Oh, so you'd get, you would get two coins. So it's going to get heart. Don't you gain what's on there too? See, I'm really confused on this okay. one, you guys. I'm sorry. If you put this guy here, uh -huh. you normally would, if you were to fire up a dragon and place it here, you get a coin and, and a heart and a reputation. But because you're using the shop ability when you put it here, you get two coins. Oh, okay. Do you want but to do that? I already fired, I already. Okay, Julie. Oh, I get to do it this again. This is a shop ability. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it because I'm, I, yeah, I'm done. Do you understand or not? No. I'm very confused. Okay, so let's go, let's look at the order. <laughs> okay, here's the order. You gain the goods. Okay, got that done. You placed this guy, right? Yeah. Okay, you got you got the stuff on here. Two reputation and artisan dragon. Yeah. And then you fired up a dragon. What if did you I fire? This one you up? fired up that one and placed another one, right? Yeah. Okay. So you've done that. Now you're using the shop ability. Okay. If you use the shop ability and you put it here, you get instead of getting reputation, you get a coin. So now you're going to get two coins instead of a reputation and a coin. Do you, do you want two coins? Sure. Okay. That's worth points so at the end. That's that was a complicated sequence of events. Oh I, my gosh. I I understand why you're confused. Thank you. I'm done.
All right, well, look how many coins you have. That's how many points right there at the end of the game. One, two, three, four. Many, 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 many. And, and again, it's also wild. Okay, and because you filled it, we get another shot. But, uh, so this one says here, you must reserve one enchantment, then may pay, score, and keep it. Hmm. So you can reserve it, then you may pay, score, and keep it. Okay. But you don't have to. It's a may. Okay. So this is where you can reserve stuff that you might not have a lot, all the goods for it, but you're afraid someone else is going to take it. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going? I have no idea where you're going. I got this stuff here. Okay. I'll go here. I have a three bread, the two diamonds. Nice. I go up four. One, two, three, four. And I do get an artisan dragon. Put it right here. Okay. This is why I knew there was a limit. Can you imagine? Oh, gosh, it'd be, yeah. It'd be... Now I get to get somebody. I gotta look at where stuff's available. Not a lot is. There's a meat and a diamond and... I'm going to get a diamond. Okay. And that was my, my enchantment mm -hmm. reward, okay? Now I get to fire up the dragons here. Okay, I can gift you something. I have nothing to gift. I'm not going to give you a gold. <laughs> okay, now I can draw another one. Let's see how it is. Do I and fill it in? No, we don't fill it in. I don't think in. so. That's why I didn't flip anything over. Okay. Yeah, see, we fell park and enchantments at the end at of the, the turn. End. Okay. okay. So I'll show that there. You know, it's important to remind yourself of this stuff. Because mm -hmm. in other games, you refill it right away. I was about to flip it right now. I know I was too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get an iron. Now I am done. All right, sweetheart. So you only have three of these left. As soon as the yep. last one's drawn, we have a bunch of these left because you're not doing them. You're farting around with other things. You know what? I have my own mission here. Just yeah, I can tell. Back off. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's we'll see if it pays off. I look at the gap. You know what? Yeah. I'm going here, and I'm going to fire okay. up that guy. And oh. I also get to use this little one too. Okay. Let's see why. I mean, let me verify, please. Go ahead and get your goods. Gain one reputation for each unique good you pay. Oh, one. okay. That's oh, good. Oh, boogers! I can't do that one. Well, you can use a you can use a gold a gold, honey. No, I actually I can do, I uh, I can do that one. Okay, we well, got to go to a different shop. No, I'm still in the same shop. Oh, you're right. You're right. But it's only two different goods. That's okay. I'm All right, so let's do that first. Three. You get your two goods for this card. Okay. Put this off to the side. Yep. Uh, and you're gonna get four. four. One, two, three, four. And we slip this underneath here. Thank you for doing that. Okay, now hang on. Get your artisan dragon. That's that you get. over here. Uh, right. I will get, um, what do I want to get? Uh, I'll do. You can take a, a wild one if you want. Can uh, you get I'll bread? Do, yeah. Okay, yeah. do not replace it yet. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now you get to fire up all three dragons. Okay, do you want to swap? Mm, no. Do you want to gift me something to get two reputation? Okay. I'll give you a bread. I have nothing. I'll give you a bread. Okay, give me a bread. So you go up two reputation. And then here you can get two iron, two leaf, or two potion. Uh, I'll do two iron. Okay, you're done. Yep. And we flip up another artisan dragon. Now it's my turn. I gotta start preparing for it. Now I get to see what Julie has. If I wanna have the most iron or or bread because of my moon dragons, my moon fancy dragons, I better get on my game here, but I probably won't do it unless Julie spins them. Well, so where can I go and get a whole bunch of bread? I can go here, I can get a bunch of iron, but I don't wanna pay Julie. I'll just go here, get two, I put them in the wrong spot, two bread, 
a diamond, two meat. Uh, I can fire up one dragon, get three different goods, or I can place somebody in town. I need three different goods. Okay. I'm going to do a bre uh, bread, an iron, and a leaf. I'm thinking of end of game square right now, because the game's going to end soon here with, with only a couple of these dragons left. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Remember, don't, I'm in the way here. You can. You're fine, sweetheart. You can put stuff here if you need to. Okay. I'm going to zip over I can here. I'll slide these down, make some more room. I'm going to zip over here. I get two meat, one potion, and one iron. And then I'm going to fire up. And two shop and one good. So you can get two meat, two potion, or two iron. Right. I'm looking what I want to do. I want um, four. I have four. So I could go for that one. Um, I know I'm slow. I'm sorry, you guys. Well, it does happen in this game. You get a little bit of analysis paralysis. Well, I'm also, my brain is getting really tired. And so, um, okay. yeah. Okay. Take your time. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get, um, I'm going to get two uh, meats. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Look at all the goods you have. I know. I'm going to be using them. You just stay out of my We're way. Running out of time. Just stay out of my way. <laughs> And you do have, what, are these all moons? No, two, two suns, suns and, and one moon. moon. I'm trying to use my... Look at all those goods you have. I know. Look at all the stuff you could be doing. I... Yeah, I'm going here. You didn't even think to do this, so you'll see right now. Two bread. Can a you see meat what? and a leaf. You see why I'm doing it? You're going to get them all. Yes, but I go in order here. What happens is, first I fire up one dragon. Okay. So I can place one in town. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place a diamond one here and get three reputation. Nice. Okay. No, no, that's me. One, two, three. And then I will use the, the shop ability and get put all these back in my hand. Very nice, honey. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm going here. And I'm getting... Let's see what it says there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm doing... Oh, wait, I went to the wrong one. You're going to enchant? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I'm getting that one. Okay. Because so I have... Four iron and one, four two, leaves. So you go up eight. Three, four, one, and I have four two, leaves. Five. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now you're closing the gap. Yep. You just have to be patient with me. Okay. I knew what I was doing. Uh-huh. So you filled that one up. You get to fire up all dragons. You can place... One in town, you can place that bread dragon. Yeah, I'll place her. You can get four reputation yep. there. Cool. Oh, wow, look at you, catching up. Yep. One, two, three, four. And, and then, then I get to draw one. Correct. Um, I'm going to do one of these. Okay. You took a random. Yeah. And then you can get three resources of different types. Okay. I'm going to get a leaf. I'm going to get a diamond. And... I'll get uh, Hey, here you There you go. There we go. All right, I want to end this game. So, cuz you're catching up to me too much. I'm going to Oh, go wait, wait, when I did that, what mm -hmm. did I place? You placed a potion. Oh, but I didn't place a dragon. Okay. No, you didn't. Okay. Oh, you did. Did you, you did place a dragon in town? Did I? Oh, you I placed honey. Okay. okay. Let's see what it says. Here we go. That's good that you remembered. Yeah. Because I'm not keeping track of your stuff. 
When placing a artisan dragon, gain one reputation for each of the same type in town. Oh, so let's see. You placed a bread. A bread. There are one, two other bread dragons in town. Well, it's two points. Yeah. Better than nothing. Yeah. All right, I am going here. Okay. I get four. Nice. Oh, you didn't flip that card over, sweetheart. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I get four. Very nice. And then gain two or more, uh, two of one type here. So I'm going to get for five. I'm going to get two more iron. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gift somebody. I'm going to gift you a meat. Oh, thank you, honey. Even though get... I'm a vegetarian, I'll take it. Do you have seven or more? Well, it won't uh, be until no. the end of your turn One, anyway. Two, three, four, then I can five, swap. Six. Well, I am done. Yeah, I'm done. You're done? That's all I can do. Okay, there's, no, my there's, love. there's no abilities there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to come here. I get a diamond. And a potion. And a potion. And then I'm going to place Mr. Potato here. And I get two. Reputation. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been reading the dragons. You have been. And then. That's nice that you do that. I'm going to gain three different goods yeah sorry for my hands. so you're firing up one yeah. you're not going to place one in town you don't have any i don't friends. have any um, okay so that's your goods two and uh so i gotta keep okay. track of what julie has there for my end of game scoring all right here i go Okay, I'll go here. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Which one that allows you to place? It's the meat dragons that do. Mm -hmm. there more meat dragons? Okay, this right is the there. place to go. Okay, I get two potions. A meat. Nice. A bread. bread. And a diamond. And a diamond. Did you get three potions, honey? Oh, no, two. You're right. Excuse yeah. me. It's okay. And then I get to fire up somebody. <sighs> Getting three different goods. I'm going to place a dragon in town. All right, honey. Or I can draw. See, I really want to end it because... I'm getting you're, tired. No, you're... Well, yeah, but <laughs> you're in a position where if I keep on going, you're just going to keep on scoring points. So I'm just going to grab one. But don't I still get my turn? Yes, you get one more turn, and I get one more turn. So, okay. the game. This is the last round for both of us. Are you done, baby? Yes. Okay. I'm coming up here, and I'm going to enchant. I'm going to do that one. Okay, you have enough meat and leaves, right? I have four diamonds. Yep. And I have four meats. Okay, so you get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Look at you. So now I wouldn't be able to enchant the shop anymore because it's maxed out, but the game's ending. Yeah. Now you get to fire up both of those. Okay. Um, you don't need bread. I, I can fire... I'll, I'll um, get... What is the point of drawing one? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Sure, I'll gift you a oh, good. I'll gift you... Oh, no, I'll give you that one. I'll give you... I'll give you one of these. She gave me an iron. Well, I'm going to have to discard it. She so go up two. Yeah. I'm so done. I'm going to discard it now because I'm not going to spend it. Does it come back to me? No. No? Okay. All right. So I have, this is my last turn. Oh, don't you forget to flip oh, up yeah. a card. You're, you really skyrocketed ahead there. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Can I enchant? Yeah, I want to do this. I enchant. 
a weird move that I'm, I'm doing here because I'm losing points while I'm gaining points. Because I'm going to lose two points. It will make sense in a minute. <laughs> because my end of game scoring, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm reducing my points from end of game scoring. But Gotcha. Well, there okay. you go. You're going to get right on my tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only one behind you. Yeah. Good job, sweetie. And then I have to discard one of my iron because I'm over. Now I get to fire up everybody here. I can get two goods. Okay. I can get two leaf or two potions. Damn it. Or two iron. I don't want to have over. I'm going to get two iron and, and discard it. It's kind of weird, huh? Mm hmm. And then gift. Well, I'll gift you one iron before I discard to get two. Reputation. So now I'm, I'm ahead of you by one, and I could swap. All right. Well, we're done. I didn't use all these dragons. That's okay. So it does say you have to decide what coins you're going to use to score before you use any coins before moon dragons. Oh. And I don't have any moon dragons that use coins. So I, I get either. three. One, two, three. How many coins do you have? One, two, three, four. Four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. See, we're tied. Now let's take a look at our moon dragons. So I get two reputation if you have three or more. So I do. Nice. Do I have the do I have more iron than you? I have three iron. Okay, I have seven iron and seven bread. So I beat you on both of those. Nice job. So I get five plus five. So that's ten. Woo! Good job. Sixteen. Woo! I get one reputation for each good you have with two or less. So that's only my leaf and Potions. This is why I said when I went for that, mm -hmm. I was going to lose a couple points. Ah. So, one, two. All right. You can still win, depending no, on... No, I can't. How much do you have? I have let's this. See, let's see what you have. And what about the other one? That's a daytime one. What did you have? What, I didn't, because I was getting, like, only had one or two cards at the end, so... Oh, so you never had a chance to use it. Mm -mm. Okay. So you get one reputation... One reputation for each two meat dragons in town. One, two, three, four. four. So you get two. Mm -hmm. Plus three if they're the most. They're not the most. I think we have more. No, we have four, four. of those. We have one, two, three, four diamonds. One, two. So it's tied. Three, yeah. So. Well, let's look at. If it's tied, what does it say? Okay. Artisan dragons. Well, we need fancy dragons. Hmm. Okay, what's his name? Uh, Umami. 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 I assume it doesn't say anything about it. I oh, right there. Oh. If the indicated type of dragon is tied for most, you still gain the bonus. So that's good. Yay, I get three more. So it was close. Good job, huh? If it wasn't for my... That's what put me over the top, were those two cards. And I didn't get anything fun like that, which is okay. Okay. Oh, that well, was fun. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. I love this game. It's yeah. just so much fun. So you might want to check out our review. Yep. Now, keep in mind that uh, I did show you where that one rule is buried. Now you know. Yeah. Uh, you knew it. You knew you saw it. I was it. doubting my memory. That's what happens when you play so many games. All right, well, thanks for watching, and thanks please so check out guys. our review and our other videos. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. -bye. Bye.